As kids head back to school, it's important to stick to a routine. That's the message from mental health experts who say rituals will help kids navigate through the uncertainty of a new year. WCCL's Liz Collin visited Anoka High School where we found many teenagers ready to get back on track. We're super excited to have our kids back. Students walked into a setup they've never seen at Anoka High School. Have you go to room 20? A day to pose for school pictures in the lobby and pick up class materials in the cafeteria. And the final piece is they'll pick up a Chromebook, their technology device for distance learning, which will start next Monday. We found plenty of kids who welcomed a familiar routine. It's definitely better and nicer to have something to do and you know you have to do something. Elijah Paulson noticed a mental boost by joining an early morning workout group at the school this summer. During COVID, it was just all nothing is wake up whenever, do whatever, but it's good getting back on schedule. When they know what to expect, in terms of a routine, kids do better. As the chief education officer and pediatrician at Children's Minnesota, Dr. Angela Cade Gepford always stresses the importance of set bed and wake up times this time of year, especially so now and if you're learning at home. I think the big keys for this year are, you know, adaptability, flexibility. Um, not setting our expectations too high. Dr. Gepard also believes distance learners need to take regular breaks and move around when they do. She adds that parents should check in frequently on their kids' feelings. So no matter how different the days may look, the importance of regular duties hasn't changed. They understand that a synchronous schedule where they're getting up earlier, going to each and checking into each classroom is very important for them. In Anoka, Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. Beginning next Monday, Noga High School students will do distance learning for two weeks. And then they plan to follow a hybrid model moving forward if COVID-19 case numbers continue to stay stable.